Hi everybody, welcome to another video of vintage TV and radio stuff. We're going back to the early 90s for this clock radio. It's a Sony, and I don't know if the uh, the old uh, catchphrase Sony no baloney was around back in the early 90s, but I suddenly thought of that old uh, advertising slogan they used to have. Anyway, this is a Sony ICF C760 AM FM clock radio. It's got a sleek cylindrical style to it, as you'll see when I show you more of it. But right now we're looking at the front part. As you can see, the, the display is in the middle, the tuning selection is on the right, and the one little speaker is on the left. You'll find all the controls except for the uh, volume control and the tuning control on the top of the radio, basically, or around the top and the back of it. Uh, from left to right, you've got your uh, brightness control for the display. Looks like uh, you hit that little clock button when you want to set the time for it. Then there are two alarms, alarm A and B, and they both have the radio buzzer selection for you. Uh, there's the time set, plus and minus, and then the band selector, AM and FM, of course. Down below that, there is uh, the... Um, uh, button to turn the uh, radio on it looks like off and on and then there's a snooze button uh, the big rectangular button in the middle this is where you can kind of see the oval shaped design of the clock radio on the right there is the tuning and uh, volume controls on the bottom you've got the transistor battery backup uh, two little uh, legs here I didn't notice until now that pop out so it stands a little straighter up I guess and uh, it is, of course, uses an outlet for power. It's one of these types of things, though. It's almost like a wall wart. And you can see it comes in through here. And if you unscrew that, I think there's a way to uh, replace this in case this, this dies on you as time goes by. So I plug this thing in, and I'm going to adjust the brightness here, see if I can get this a little bit brighter. That's not that much brighter but okay uh, let me see if I can set the time at least a little bit here okay I got it set for 12 a.m. and I'm assuming you can hit the time set and hold on to it and then it'll go backwards or forwards but I don't see anything going on like this here so maybe I need to do a little more investigating maybe I need to hold this button this clock button down while I do it there we go yeah, that's more like it. So let's make believe it's uh, uh, 344 a.m., <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and, uh, boy, I, I just can't sleep, so I'm going to turn the radio on. So I'm going to turn the radio on by hitting on. And sure enough, there's your, your sound there. It's going to tune around a little bit. Pacific. Well, reception is pretty much isolated to the really local stations here in town you know with the towers nearby so not not an overly receptive radio that's for sure and I don't think the court is going to make any difference to be honest with you at this point as far as you know the court has an antenna so that's your FM band. Let's flip it over to AM. There's a little bit... Something there on the lower end of the FM band. I think that's a station about an hour's drive away. You can kind of hear it. Eligibility and 
terms at expo.draftkings.com. Yeah, so not a whole lot of uh, reception on the AM, which is not unexpected. Let's put, put it back on FM for a moment here. We've helped men with matters like these for 30 years. Help you. All right. Contact Cordell and Cordell. So you turn off the radio by hitting off, I guess. All right, on and off. All right. And, uh, Madison, Wisconsin, 5371. What does this do? I hit on and something uh -oh. displays. Oh, is it on? <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, this is going to be a rather brief video today for this clock radio. Sony ICF C760. It was uh, marketed and sold back in the early 90s by Sony. Cool little uh, look to it. And it has all the reception that you would expect from a, a clock radio. Uh, that's our video for today. If you have any uh, comments, leave them below. Be sure and like it if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll have more vintage TV and radio stuff down the road. Thanks for watching.